We got sent a bike. Let's open this shit up. So the good folks at uh, Yui sent this to us. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. We got some pretty interesting specs that we're gonna throw up right here. Julian, throw these specs up. Julian, Julian, throw up the thumbnail. Let's throw up a whole list. Julian, get a beauty shot. Yeah, so we're gonna bust this thing open. Apparently it comes with tools, so I don't even have to go get any. A EUI, EUI bike. Thank you guys. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this thing. Yeah, so it sounds like we're gonna be taking this thing against a GT. Whoa. She's heavy, dude. Whoa. It's actually got, like I was checking the website out on some of the specs and it's actually got some like decently recognizable parts on it. The first order of groceries you're gonna get on this thing. I think you're picking up maybe some T-bone steaks. You're probably getting some nice wine. You know what I mean? You're gonna treat yourself right after this thing. They have done a phenomenal job at packing everything, mostly to keep me out. Oh, hey, what's up guys? Jeff, Elijah here. We got the brand new EUY, or as Julian calls it, EWI. S4. Moped. Ooh. Pew, pew, pew. Ooh, dude, I just scratch it right there, right out the gate. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even matter. We didn't pay for it. This thing was free. They sent it to us, which is pretty rad. We don't have a ton of experience with e-bikes, so we're just gonna kind of compare it to the things that we do know. GT. GT. Range is gonna be a little bit better. Obviously. This has a little bit higher top end advertised. But, but this thing's got the torque. This thing's got the torque. We got the torque on it. This bike is, is pretty interesting though. It came like, basically fully assembled. It was like 80, 90% assembled. It was like crank the wheels on, couple little things, turn a couple wrenches. But for the most part, uh, it got built in like 15 minutes. Yeah, it looks pretty sleek too. Yeah, and uh, decently affordable, I think. I haven't really priced electric bikes, but it's like, what, 1400 bucks? That's pretty reasonable. That's like Pine X, so. Yeah, it is like Pine X. GTs are more pricey than yeah. that. But hey, GTs might be faster around TFL River Run down here. You're right, they are uh, known to rip river run, so they do this rip, thing. rip river run? They rip river run, I don't know about <laughs> this thing. We're about to find out though. We are gonna find out. Okay, so it's got, it, they call it a moped. It's got the pedal assist. Okay. But it's also got a twist throttle on it. Together, they could be nice, but I don't know. When I was riding it over here, the pedal assist seems like it took a second to kick in, so we'll see. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe we might have to handicap this thing on the first race. That's fair. Let's go, here's what we'll do. We'll go full power on it. There's five settings on the power. So we're gonna set it to five. We're gonna crank it to absolute max. Yeah. And let's just have you go pedal assist only, no throttle on this race. Okay. And we'll see how it stacks up against the GT. Let's do it. Let's do it. You ready? Hey, may the odds be ever in your favor, sir. Hey, likewise. <laughs> Good luck, you're gonna need it. <laughs> Shh. Gotta stay strapped up. Function, nothing but the best, baby. I don't got function, but. They'll work. But they're gloves. Protect. Yeah. <laughs> so we're keeping the start as fair as possible. Well, I just got the kickstand down. I've also got my kickstand down. Three, two, one, go. Oh, full start! <laughs> Come on, pedal is this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Woo! Oh, this thing is Whoa. scary. Sketch! <laughs> Oh, oh there's a hole there. Oh, yo, did you hit that hole? <laughs> Oh, oh, he's catching up! He's catching up! <laughs> oh. oh, barely snuck by. You almost <laughs> snuck by me. That was surprisingly close. Oh, yeah, that wasn't bad. Yeah, that was a good one. The pedal assist is hilarious because it like juices you. You like start yeah. boosting and then all of a sudden it stops. So then you're just like pedaling it raw. Do you feel like you got superhuman strength as soon as it kicks in? You're oh. just like, Aah. yeah, it's like, it's like turbo. That's one point for one wheel GT. Zero points for EUI bikes so far. EUI. <laughs> but keep in mind, we're handicapping lies here. Yeah, I was, I'm, I'm winded a little bit. I did have a false start too. I don't know what, I got way too excited. So what's what do you think the technique on this next one's gonna be for, are you just gonna crank the throttle and never let go of it? No, see, cause like, I don't know, bikes, not to like super comfortable with bikes in the sense of like you get tossed really easy. So yeah. like, 
I think my tech for this is going to be throttle to start. Okay. Kick in the, kick in the pedals. Yep. Yep. And then once I brake, because I'll probably need a brake on the turn so I don't freaking eat shit. I think I'm just going to be going back and forth between throttle, throttle and uh, pedals. So. Okay, so here's a little pro tip for you. This works a lot like a bunch of other e-bikes work to where as soon as you hit the brake, the throttle completely cuts out. So oh. you won't be able to like gas and brake at the same time like you could on a conventional like motorcycle. Right. You know okay. what I'm saying? So like if you go twist throttle and we're cranking, I hit the brake and even if I'm barely touching the brake, like it just cuts it. You, it cuts 100% oh. of the power and you get no power. That's probably what was uh, messing with me when I was pedaling is I'd probably brake and then I went to pedal again and it took a second for the oh. That's for it to kick back in. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. I think the tech on this one might just be pin it. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you want to slow down, just tap a brake a little bit and it'll cut your motor completely. Three, two, one. Uh, uh, uh. Suspension. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm off the track. Oh, I hear you skirting back there. Up so much dirt. Oh, it's two times as much dirt as a one wheel because there's oh, two the wheels. Oh, is way better. Oh, I'm getting smoked. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, it's like moon dust out here. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, the throttle is definitely the way. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> oh gosh. Suspension is pretty good. You like, I hit a little bump, dude, and I'm like bouncing all around and yeah. the treads on the tires hold pretty well i keep like having that thought that i'm gonna like slip out trying to pin a pin a turn all leg tight but i saw you coming in all tokyo drift around that u-turn <laughs> yeah. out there that was fun yeah man good race yeah that was good i was definitely more throttle based than pedal but i was kind of between both do you feel like you got extra power booster by hitting throttle and pedal at the same time? Because I saw you blasting by me and you were pedaling, throttling. Oh yeah, throttling. pedal and throttle. I felt like I had... Doing this with the bike, <laughs> making it go faster? Yeah, I definitely felt like I had way more power doing both of them at the same time. What were you showing? Did you look at your speedometer at all when you were racing? Oh no, I didn't look down at once. But it felt on the last home stretch that I was going like 27, 28. Yeah, probably. I yeah. was definitely pinning as hard as I could on that GT without trying to die. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was a damn good race. That was a good race. That was a good race. It seems like if you handicap it and do pedal assist only, the GT takes it all day. Oh yeah. But I don't think the GT can compete with just all out speed on a straightaway when you got the throttle, you oh. got the suspension. It pins and it starts cooking too, especially like you, you get way more power. I think with pedal assist, like it boosts you way harder than the throttle, but the throttle is consistent and when you can just yeah. like hold it and you'll like always have speed all in all uh what would you rate this e-bike dude for trail trail city bike like primarily city it seems like i'd give it like i'd give it like an eight an eight i'd say it's comfy it's quick it's not super fast but i mean 30 that's pretty fast <laughs> look i don't need to yeah. be going any faster than 30. i don't know <laughs> when was the last time you fell going faster than 30. but long time not but, for me yeah yeah but i'd say a solid eight cool yeah. Eight out of 10, that's good. That's a solid B. That's better than my grades were in college. So here we are. Hey, same. Not bad. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. If you guys want to find out more about this bike, we got a link down below and uh, yeah, check it out. We had fun with it. Thank you very much for sending it our way. Um, oh, and if you guys didn't know what EUI stands for, it's not EUI, it's actually an acronym. For what? Believe it or not. Well, I have to look it up because I forgot, but I did see it on their <laughs> website. EUI stands for excellent ultra fast and young interesting very interesting <laughs> seems like uh seems like this company's name basically describes you to a t my friend i yeah i suppose <laughs> <laughs> thanks guys for joining us uh hope you enjoyed yourselves along for the ride on this new s4 moped yeah. it's pretty sweet i'm kind of psyched that we got it in the stable yeah
I don't know about you, but this thing will be sweet for group rides. If someone's hurt, doesn't want to ride a one wheel or something. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. I got a feeling this is probably going to be Bodie's whip for the group rides for oh, a little while. 100%. Did yeah. you check this out? It sounds like a mini fire truck. That horn is the best <laughs> horn I've ever heard on a bike before. Right? Oh my God, that's fantastic. 